afternoon. How your baby daddy, your sister, and your cousin them doing? And your hubby too. How y'all living, fam? It's Monday off in this motherfucker. Look, not in this bitch. Not in this bitch. In this motherfucker. Look, everybody looking at me like I'm cray cray. <laughs> Including my girl Maria, who I know you remember. Hey, Maria. Hi. Look at her looking all beautiful and pretty and luscious and gorgeous and golden brown. <laughs> we all have been Walmart hanging out, you know what I'm saying? Doing our usual. Trying to get some groceries. Yeah, she trying to shop, but she got me all over the damn place. We done been to the craft area. She done took me there twice. We went to get toilet paper twice. She took me to get some uh, damn <laughs> produce three times. Bitch, you don't know what the fuck she want. I don't shop at Walmart. I'm just trying to utilize being here. Mm -hmm. So I'm not wasting time because we got other stores to go to. So come on. If she gonna have me in all these damn stores looking like this. <laughs> I know my way around Target. Shit. So we'll be going Whole Foods, we're at Walmart, and then we're going to Target too? We might not have to go to Target. But if you can make it to Whole Foods. <laughs> well, you know, they right in the same plaza. Oh, okay. I know that motherfucking kid did not just almost hit my black ass. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was on camera, did you see it? I did. Ooh, he went Ooh, swinging. Ooh, that's a, that's a good look. I need to actually get some ground turkey while I'm here. Ah! Let me get my damn ground turkey. I'll be right back. Okay. Do you want any ground turkey? Yeah. You want to do the same kind? You may want to see it, because I know you're particular about the kind you like. <laughs> Look, she's like an extra healthy nut. Not really. But I mean, but she enjoys stuff. So let's yeah. let me not even act as if she just, everything she eats is like super healthy. But she is a health nut too, as I'm well. Cool. You know I what I'm saying? Yeah. I need some stuff I need. I wonder how those are. Are, they, are those good? Have you had these shakers? Oh, I haven't. We just make our own. They look good. I know. Have you guys had these dole shakers? They just look good. Let's see, they have mixed berry, strawberry. That's the kind I want to try. Yeah, let's try one. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? Let's see. They have mango, peach, strawberry. What do you think would be good? I was going to try the... Uh, try the mango. Banana. Strawberry banana. I kind of want to try the peach mango, but I don't know that if I'm going to like That sounds like it would be good. That sounds good. I let's try one. Oh, you just add juice and shake. Oh, okay. So where do you get the juice from? I guess you have to add. Let's see what you have to add though let's see um quartz chill juice it doesn't say what kind of oh, okay orange yeah. apple pineapple or your favorite juice it's probably delicious girl let's see protein i'm a pass there's only three grams of protein in this i can't eat this yeah i'm a pass anyway, it it's a yogurt adding. shaker anyway let me know if you guys when try this start adding stuff well see once they said the juice i was like ah that's not good but then i looked at the protein and i'm like that's not enough protein right for that's the not gonna fill me up in the crash. It only says like five grams of protein, but on the back of this it says three. On the packaging on the front it says five. They don't have but you know, there's a little asterisk, so you know how that goes. Anyway, so yeah, I do need to get some ground turkey, so while I'm here, I'm gonna get that. I can make that for dinner, I guess, tonight versus y'all know we eat a lot of the same shit because we're trying to just eat healthy during the week. Y'all know how it is. Plus, we still have to go to Sam's. What's that Sam's? Everything. That's you going to Sam's? Get. Probably not today, tomorrow. Oh. If you need to go. I got a Costco card. Girl, you don't like Costco? I haven't been. I don't have a Costco card. That's what I keep hearing. <laughs> See, okay, who? Do, what do you like, Costco or Sam's? Y'all know we got a Sam's card. She got a Costco card. Okay, I keep hearing so many good things about Costco. Let's, let's just do a real quick right now. Okay. Quick dinner. Mm -hmm. We can get a rotisserie chicken that's supposedly organic. Supposedly. From Costco. Costco. Okay. Rotisserie chicken, four dollars. They have that at uh, Sam. Good, same price. I don't know about the same price. It might be six, y'all. It's four dollars. See, now I'm gonna now I'm gonna look when but I go. Everything that they bring into it, they really try to make sure it stays at the highest in quality. So this says that it's with range, uh, free range and or, uh, organic. And, then it is. Yeah. And it's already cooked. Four dollars. Okay. So we'll tea. run in there and get that. Um, like stuff we use for our salads, we'll buy in bulk because we go through it so quick. It's and that's why we're going to Sam's yeah. because all of our veggies. I'm like, it's pointless to just buy veggies here. But the only turkey that I like is from here. Like ground turkey. That oh, let's here. see what they got. It's good. I, I love it. When we first got married, he got me some ground beef right here. You didn't like it? It had so much gristle or whatever in it. Oh, Lord. We gotta so have some, some, some in it. I was so disappointed. Like, what is this I'm chewing on? It made me, it made me not even want to finish eating. Yeah. I love that stuff. It's all the way down here. Yeah, y'all. Y'all know my usual ground turkey that a lot of y'all have tried out and love. It's so good, but it may not be. I don't know, she's picky. Oh yeah, 
Yeah. That's the kind, them. yeah. That's my favorite. They sell it at Target too. I've never seen this at Target. I think Ever. So. Never seen this at Target. Or Ever. Maybe they sell it at Kroger. Maybe at your, yeah. Maybe at your Target, but not mine. I thought that was a bag. It is? It is. That's a paper towel. Oh, I thought it was a bag. What the hell? Anyway, y'all. Right, Honeysuckle white. Let me show y'all. Right just in case you guys are curious. Well, actually, I'll show you guys that way. That's it right there. I don't know if this one is different. This one's Italian style. I've never tried it. Anyway. It's hard right. to see. Mm -hmm. The other one? Mm -hmm. I'm afraid of that stuff, though. Because I'm like, what if it's nasty? I don't know. You like spicy stuff, right? Yeah. Do you use sriracha? You know what? Not as much because of juice. You don't like he it? He hates spicy. Oh. But I, like I do sriracha. use it. I have to be careful with it, though, because if he gets any twinge of it, he's like, oh, God, oh, I'm going to die. So. <laughs> I try not to torture them too much. <laughs> I, like the, I love it on my eggs. I love spicy I have eggs. Not tried it on eggs. I need to try it. I love using spicy eggs. Cheese. I do put salsa on my eggs. Oh, cheese is over this way. And bread. I can do those. This bitch, see, we. I just, look, I'm not used to the store. I need you to look at this whole length. Look, see all this, all this. We've done this I ten times. I don't really know ten. what I want. Look, I'm glad I got. You know, I should have worn my sneakers. I got to do lunges on the floor. Just like this, <laughs> all the way down. Have my little exercise for the day. Uh huh. She is funny. Bread. I love my Maria. Where is bread? Oh, bread. Uh, over this way. Is it, I can't is believe it I remember. My fault that this is like set up different. <sighs> I'm not from here. I mean, I'm from. But you're not from here. Just, just I just, I'm not familiar with you this just, Walmart. Yeah. Yes, she's not familiar with this Walmart. So, yes. And then now I'm actually thinking of meals. I'm thinking ahead and I'm thinking. That's good. That's so I'm good. gonna do a spaghetti squash with Roman tomatoes. This is why we have to go to Whole Foods. I spaghetti squash that like make spaghetti noodles out of? Yeah, you just bake it. Cut it in half, bake it. Don't put nothing on it. Bake it at um, 350 for about 45 minutes. Pull a spoon out and it turns into spaghetti on its own. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to. Um, but listen, what's in it? Make me some. Listen, listen what's in way. it? It is made with black olives, feta cheese, mm -hmm. um, and Roman tomatoes, garlic, and onions. And that's it? And you can put meat. Whatever. Oh, okay, okay. That's what I said. We do steak with it. We do um, grilled chicken. Okay, you're gonna have to make me some or give me, put some leftovers aside for me. I'll make it for you. It's so easy. I'm scared of squash. That's the one thing I've never. You know, we I don't have really never eat. eaten squash. We have we have been devouring it this winter. And then you had me do those Brussels sprouts, and I hate Brussels sprouts, but I ate those. Fire. Right. I was surprised. I'm telling you, dog. I don't know if I could get juice to eat them though, but I bet you. You bake them at home. Bake them while you're Sea salt work. and stuff. Because the smell might be. The smell's scare horrible. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Y'all remember last taste. time I was over at her house? The taste And is they phenomenal. roasted those. Mm -hmm. I couldn't take the smell. But the, it tastes great. But the smell, smell y'all. I was like, I can't, I can't do it. It's, <laughs> it's strong, y'all. Okay. See, I just had her in my house. And I had a, um, damn, what was it called? I had a uh, bread co sandwich and it had onion. red onions on it. I didn't even you know smell red onions smell like BO. You didn't? Oh my God. It was so strong because I love a lot of onions in my uh, Panera bread sandwiches. It was delicious, but it makes your whole place smell like onion, which okay. in essence looks sound, smells like BO. What kind of butter do you use? I use, ooh, I can show you. Hold on, let's see if I can find it. Doo, 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 doo. Where is the butter? Now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, there's yogurt. Where is the butter? I never buy butter here. I use the, I can't believe it's not butter spray stuff. And is this? No. I don't know where the butter is. I don't know where the butter is. I never buy it here. I always buy it at Schnucks. I use the spray and then I use like, like it's like half something. That was about to be a stupid. I was gonna say, do they even sell butter? Here? Girl, bye. I know you did not ask if they sell butter here at Walmart. Where is it? I don't know. I'm like, see, they sell it. Damn it. No, it does not. All I saw was just a period. Yeah, but I, it might be on the other side of that, on the far end. Look, because they got to fit a lot of motherfucking shit up in here, Maria. Where is the butter section at? <laughs> this motherfucker right here. <laughs> just give me a, why they got this with the bagels. Just give But the bread way over there, and they got bagels in. Because that's right refrigerated there. bagels, girl. Yeah. Uh -huh. Where is the butter? Refrigerated bagels. This is very weird shooting her. 
from this angle. Because usually when I'm shooting somebody, I'm shooting from here because it's juice. But because she's so so mini, she's like a little. I'm fun size. <laughs> she's like a little mini Snickers. Um, have we? Wait, it's here. Damn it, we gotta find. It. Okay, here, hold up. Butter. Butter. The whole thing is butter, girl. Who did the store? <laughs> Who set the store? I need a store engineer to come and talk. Look, to you they might the they might find us on this motherfucker. Look, Dude, here's the butter. butter. Someone cleared out whatever butter that was down here. What kind of butter? Oh, this is the kind we use all the time. Smart this butter. one. Oh, Land O'Lakes. Yeah, the light canola oil, light butter. Yeah. They don't have what I use. And then I use this, which I need. Damn it, so I didn't want to buy anything, but I need that. They don't have what I, I ran need. out like I'm on. I use Kerry Gold. Grass fed. I've heard of it. Before. It's very good. Grass fed organic. It is. It's bougie, bitch. It's rich in flavor. It's delicious. Uh huh. Not that I use a lot of butter. I mean, I cook with olive oil. I'm just going to have you make me a bunch of food. That's fine. I can start tonight. What y'all want for dinner? Spaghetti squash. I'm just playing. You'll be turned. Your world. I did, I had never had it. Wanna do? What spaghetti? I, had never had it. I keep hearing about it. It's really delicious. It's sandy. It was one of those. Today is my husband's birthday. No way! I'm, yeah, I'm not at home. For right, right, right. So we did his birthday this weekend, and I uh, did the spaghetti squash, and he grilled the chicken. When I tell you, I felt like we were at a restaurant eating a very nice meal. It was like that. I'm gonna have you make it for me because I'm scared of squash. Just because, I don't know. I we just, just don't know. Into it. Yeah. What black people eat a lot of squash? Think about yeah, it. Yeah, it's true. I didn't grow up eating. My, I even said to my mom, I said, Mom, have you ever had spaghetti squash? She was like, once in a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Gonna we going to try. You're going to put me on game. You're going to put me on game. Ah, yeah. I feel like a Sprite. Maybe I'll get a small one. Or one of those little mini things. Did you get that shape? No, because that's not how many protein grams are in it. I was like, I'm good. I'll just but I make my protein shake. I'm good. <laughs> that's what I said. Look, I'm like, I think I want a Sprite. I, won't drink that. I don't want to get that because it's not enough protein. But let me get a Sprite. But I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> so ass backwards. I know, I know. Ooh, Dutch pepper sounds good too. It does sound good. See, I love Dutch pepper. That's like downfall. And I've decided I can't have a lot of white Russian ingredients in my home. Because you make them all the time? Yes. This past weekend we had it from Super Bowl. And I was just you drinking. You want to go in front of me? Thank you. You're welcome. I was just drinking up some stuff. Oh, she on the phone. I was like, what is she talking about? Look, as I'm talking to my camera. But I was like, Coke, oh. Mr. Pib, Cherry Coke. Oh, there's a Dutch pepper on this side. I'm gonna get a Dutch pepper. Over oh, yeah. here, you want a Dutch pepper? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're both so bad. We're both like, yeah, not enough protein grams in that protein shake or in that shake. And we're both getting Dutch peppers. <laughs> That's hilarious. There we go. All right. We're gonna go ahead and check out and stuff. What's up, y'all? It's so funny. I always like start off my vlog when I come in the kitchen from right here. I have no idea why. It's like a habit. You know what I mean? I start off right over here or right over here in this area here because the camera's usually either over there or over there or in my purse. And this time it was in my purse. And here comes the big dogs. Babe, why'd you take them out? Hey, boo boos. Come say hi real quick. Hey, boo boos. Hey, boo boos. It's feeding time. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Hi, Juicy J. What's up? How are you? I'm chilling. Oh, I can't hey, believe it or not, right. I just got done working out, so. Yeah, buddy. I'm about to feed the dogs right quick and then hop in the shower so we can eat. Ain't that right, boys? Ain't that right? Oh, I can't. I'm trying to do two things at once. Yeah. Sorry for the yeah. angle, guys. Yeah. Here's Gizzy. Come on, Gizmo. Come on. Hey, Gizmo. He needs to be jumping around. Yeah, y'all. Come on, come on. He's feisty. Any hoodle. So yeah, Juice got on the elliptical, came home to Juice being on the elliptical when I got back. He was doing a little weight work in the basement, and uh... Just he better not have. Is that you? No, that was him. It was? That was fast. No way that was him, that quick. He didn't finish. Ain't no way that's all the pee no he had in him. 
I don't think so. Anyway. <laughs> I'm telling you, we gotta let, as soon as you take them out the crate, they can't, yeah, I'm just, I'm done. Y'all know. I have a certain way that they get disciplined and it works. Anyway, Juice went ahead and got his uh, little workout out of the basement. And because Maria came and picked me up a little early, you going to the back, hon? No. Guys. Okay, um, because Maria came and picked me up a little early, we went to get a couple things. It worked out great because I actually needed a couple things from Wally World. Y'all already saw. I got me some butter, which by the way at Walmart, they're bigger. This is 50% more than my usual, so I'm really happy about that. Go ahead and put this in the fridge, actually. I love this. I can't believe it's not butter spray. It's the best thing since sliced bread. I'll put it here for the moment. Another thing that I got that we're going to probably try tonight. I'm actually going to make some more of this rotisserie chicken that Juice brought from J-O-B. Because why, you know, thaw out something when I have food that's already pretty much cooked. And um, that's what he's in the mood for, too. So y'all know how that goes. But a couple things that we got from Whole Foods because we didn't shoot while we were in Whole Foods. Um, one in particular is this stuff right here. It's called Seeds of Change, okay? And I got the Spanish style rice with quinoa, red bell peppers, and corn, and another kind that's Seeds of Change, that's the name of the brand, Caribbean style rice, and it's with brown rice and red beans. The thing that's really cool about these is, bam, they are um, basically, you nuke them for 90 seconds, which is what it says right here on the, in the microwave, and they're ready to eat. And I love that type of stuff. Supposedly, she was telling me you can get some of these at Costco, and I don't have a Costco card. So um, we're probably going to go one time maybe with her to Costco. But um, anyway, I'm going to try these for the first time. I think I'm going to try this one first. But the great thing is, is they are really seriously healthy, and they're seasoned and flavored or whatever and already cooked. So I'm going to try it out and see if we like it tonight. I'll let you guys know for sure. But I always try to tell myself when I go to Whole Foods and Trader Joe's, two of the two places that I always try to make sure to try something new every time I walk in. So these are my little new things. Another thing that I tried out that was really new to, and new for me and the gentleman at the cash register was awesome in letting us have one of these. And I hope I'm not getting him in trouble for saying that, but I didn't say his name, so it's all good. Anyway, it's called the Synergy Organic and Raw Drink, I guess. It's, uh, this is in the flavor Guava Goodness, okay? Now, supposedly these are ridiculously carbonated. I'll put it on the counter so you can actually see it better. Ridiculously carbonated, okay? And um, anyway... Ridiculously carbonated. I think they're like a couple bucks and they come in different flavors. Some have chia seeds in them and stuff But just to give you the whole rundown or whatever ridiculously carbonated to the point where if you shake it up even a little bit It can explode the entire can like in th it's glass the entire glass will explode It's not like a soda. It's more carbonated than that So you're not supposed to shake them at all, but they're supposed to be really healthy and he was raving about them Maria actually when we walked in was raving about it. She's like, oh my god. They're so good. They're amazing you gotta try it out. And then the dude was like, dude, just here, we got one for you. And actually, you know, let us have one to try in the guava. And it's actually pretty good. I think I'm gonna like the cherry more. I'm not as much a guava person, kinda kinda, this taste. Reminds me a little bit of grapefruit. I don't like the grapefruit taste, but this is actually decent and Juice liked it. So he drank most of it already. But anyway, another thing I got, look, I'm telling you all these random things, is a little, um, this is Moscato. <laughs> It's like a little mini thing of Moscato. I don't know if you guys can see it. Anyway, it was like a dollar. So her and I both got one each. So I'm going to, um, actually, I should chill it. I'll have it tomorrow. That's what I'll have it. I'll have it tomorrow. Any hoodle. So that's pretty much what I got, along with apple cider vinegar, because, you know, we shoot that with orange juice in the morning um, to dilute it a little bit. Not dilute it, but to cut the taste. And then, um, yeah, I'm about to actually... Um, nuke this, um, well, I'm going to warm it up in the oven. It tastes better in the oven, the rotisserie. And have it with this rice. And that's what we're going to have for dinner. Juice just went to the shower and the dogs are in the room or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah, y'all. Um, yeah. Today was pretty low-key, man. It was so much fun hanging out with Maria. Like, and I'm so, she's actually going to be here for a project she's working on um, work-wise for a couple of months. So really happy to have her here. And um, so we'll be able to spend some time together and stuff like that. So that'll be really fun. And we'll be able to like just, you know, get out every now and again. Her work schedule is going to be pretty busy because of what she's doing. However, um, it'll be fun to hang out with her since she's actually here. And she doesn't come here as often I'd like, as I'd like her to come into town. So I'll be spoiled for two months while she's here. And hopefully we'll do some cooking stuff together and stuff because Lord knows I need to change that. Which reminds me, 
You're gonna notice I always do the same types of foods. And I was just telling Maria this, we sat in the car in front of my house for like an hour talking about this, but a bunch of other stuff too. Um, I have a tendency to make a lot of the same shit because Juice is very much a meat and potatoes kind of guy and he likes his meat, potato, veggie. And it's also a lot of what our workout meal plan has on it as well. But the thing that I miss is some of the variety of some of the stuff that I want to experiment with making. Like I love soups, hence why I always have ramen. Love ramen because I love soup based things. So like um, ramen soup or chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup, really not ramen, take that out. But I would, you know, like I, I would love to just like one day it's like cold outside and I'm like, oh, let me just make some quick chicken noodle soup, like from scratch that I can make for juice, you know, he could have that along with like a little side salad or something like that for dinner. That's just not his type of thing. That's not something he's used to. He likes his meat, his potato or his meat, his carb. Do you see what I'm saying? He's just a meat and potatoes kind of guy. So I don't get to make some of the things that I like to make for dinner. I don't get to play around with the recipes as, as much. So I'm gonna talk to him about it and see, like if we experiment a little bit more, like chicken pot pie, Maria was telling me about that. She's like, there's such an easy chicken pot pie that you can make. And I'm sure there's healthier versions of it, but I would love to do that kind of stuff just to vary up our dinners a little bit. Cause I get bored making the same stuff all the fucking time. So, you know, if it's not red meat, then it's chicken. If it's not chicken, then it's shrimp. If it's not shrimp, it's a lot of ground turkey, which you guys know I love ground turkey, which is why I always have it. So anyway, I'm gonna try to switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna talk to him and see. Like, I know it sounds like it's a lot for me to be like, let me talk to him and see if it's okay. It's not that, it's just that I don't wanna make something and he does not enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? He works hard, gets, goes to work every morning, you know, comes back home and to come home to something you want or enjoy is nice. It's a nice thing, you know, and um, I respect him for that, you know? So, um, but it would be nice to be able to come home and have made something different, like chicken noodle soup with side salad or, um, I don't know, hell, I used to make beef stew a lot. He prefers my pot roast, although he loves my beef stew. Just loves pot roast. Um, you know, I don't make spaghetti as much as I'd like to, and you know, maybe making fish tacos as opposed to, you know what I'm saying? I wanna change it up a little bit, because I know he gets he gets bored too, you know what I mean? So, you're gonna probably see some a little bit more variety as time goes, especially if we go to Sam's and get some ingredients. I hope to be able to like look up some recipes over the next couple days and you know see what I can get from Sam's that I can make here, especially things that I can make in big big increments, so that we can have for a couple of days, you know, or he can take it to work to have to eat or something like that. So I hope that makes sense. I don't know if you guys deal with that. Do you guys deal with husbands that are more meat and potatoes? And what do you do? How do you handle that? Like if you want something different, I don't want to have to make two meals. You know, which is why I just eat my ramen noodles if I ever have a soup craving or if I feel like something different. Um, anyway, let me know what you guys think down below. If there's any ideas about that, how you guys combat that. But, um, you know, I like to make little casseroles and things like that. You know, healthy shit. But stuff like that to change it up a little bit because I'm bored making the food I'm making. Healthy shit because I have a bunch of recipes for that shit. So, anyway. <sighs> let me see how the dogs are doing. Don't you dare. I want to show you which of they did. It's not bad. I just... These little niggas. You guys are just so cute. I can't take y'all. Anyway, I guess I'm going to go ahead and wait for the hubster to come out the shower. I'm going to get out these clothes. Oh, hold up. Let me show you an outfit of the day. I haven't shown y'all. All right, y'all. Quick outfit of the day. I know you guys never see this um, bathroom all up and through here. Just regard the water spots or whatever but anyway this is the bathroom in the basement you guys never really see this unless we have guests or company or whatever but anyway this is the bathroom in the basement bam bam and this is the outfit that i'm wearing today i haven't shown you guys an outfit of the day like during the week in a while that wasn't grubby i just threw this on this is actually a sweater that i just recently hauled um on the um beauty fashion channel i just hauled it like literally just came out this past fashion forward friday and um this actually came from ramwi and i love it it's like one of those like really simple like comfortable ass sweaters that have a little bit of dimension to it which i like and then um just rocking my little michael kors watch my wedding ring of course my hair was already kind of curly from yesterday's video and um just shooting or whatever and then face you guys probably can't even see my lip anymore because honestly my lip is gone because i was having you know whatever the drink is that they showed us or whatever at whole foods and then i had a little bit of my dr pepper but anyway um 
hair and all that stuff is not really anything to write home about it's just leftover curls and then um yeah nothing much but some uh skinnies these are some navy blue skinnies if you can tell i know the light in here is kind of yellow and then i've just got my regular brown boots these are i think they're steve madden i think they are steve madden but i got them from schumann a long time ago you guys have seen these before um they're super comfortable and it's still really snowy outside so yeah that's my outfit of the day i mean you can't see what lip i had on but i had a really pretty nude lip it wasn't my miami babe if i remember to pull out of my purse i'll show it to you guys and let you guys know it's probably not even available anymore it's an old lippy that i've had for over a, a little over a couple of years now but i love it and it's got like a minty feel to it it's really moisturizing i like it i'll show it to you if i remember if i don't i'll show it to you whenever i you know i always try to remember everything um and then i'm wearing just like a yellow thermal underneath here <laughs> Nothing spectacular. Oh, and I have my little ear cuff that I love, um, or my little ear ring thing. I got this from ASOS, which is about to come out. So I love these. Ever since I started doing my hair like this, I wear these types of earrings all the time, as you can tell. And this is in gold. I have a silver one, too. That's that. So that's my outfit. Yes. Anyway, all right. I'm going to let you say what's up to y'all. When he comes out the damn shower, I'm going to go ahead and put this food in the oven for him and stuff. Make this rasp. Maybe make a little veggie and keep it moving. Yo, what's going on, y'all? Oh, downstairs, downstairs in the basement, on the couch. Oh shit, just checking out the game. You know, I ain't doing nothing too important. Just checking out this game. Oh shit, and we losing. Anyway, uh, hey, the wifey cook some dinner tonight. I'm down here, about to eat on this chicken and rice. Look at that. It looks so nice. Yeah, anyway, uh, got a little workout in today. Nothing, you know, too strenuous. Just a little light cardio and some shoulder exercises and shit. So I'm feeling pretty good. I got my shit in for the day. I'm, I'm chilling, watching the game, got my food. Uh, oh, everything seems good. Everything seems good so far. Oh, by the way, I forgot to ask y'all about that favor yesterday. Kind of fell asleep, you know, in the middle of watching, uh, was that Real Housewives with the wifey doing the recaps and shit. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm get to y'all in a second about that. Uh, it's not about me; it's about you know my brother and shit. So uh, let me get done eating and watching this uh, game, and I'll be back in a second to let y'all know what's going on. All right. All right, y'all. So I'm back in the kitchen, and my team lost, man. So I'm pissed. Trying to figure out what to eat tonight for we, a little late night how snack. How much did we lose by? Huh? How much did we lose by? Uh, we lost in overtime by three points. Damn. Bullshit. Yeah. Anyway. We tried. We tried. We tried. Rock we failed. Here. Next time we will succeed. This is true. Rock chalk mother. Babe, you want me to open that shit for you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of this, this shit. This nigga. <laughs> Tired of getting this shit, wrapping this shit in knots and shit. What are you uh, trying to say? What are you trying to say? I'm trying to snack on some rice cakes and she got the shit all tied in knots and <laughs> bolts and nuts and mm. all kind of shit. By the way, that rice was a mixture of quinoa and brown rice. Delicious. It's actually really good. The Southwest flavor is the one that we tried. It's really good, surprisingly. I mean, I mean, and it's easy. 90 seconds in the microwave and it was done. I like it. And it supposedly comes in a large pack at Costco. I'm going to see if they have it at Sam's. You know, Costco and Sam's carry some different things. So, yeah. Anyway, but it was really good. And we're going to try the other one tomorrow, which doesn't look as appetizing to me, even though it's like a black bean. and It just doesn't look appetizing on the front. But I didn't think the other one looked appetizing either and it actually tasted good. So, I'll let you know about that tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Before I forget... Let me uh, remind y'all about this little favor I got to ask of you guys. It's about my brother, like I said earlier. Um, you know, he lives in Texas. Uh, and, you know, about maybe what, five or six months ago, he was laid off of his job, okay? And uh, now he's looking for a job, but he's having a hard time finding, you know, a decent job or a job that's accepting, you know, applicants. Uh, you know, and so I was hoping that Maybe people, some of y'all that live in Dallas or Arlington and the Texas area, 
If you have any job openings or know of any uh, sales jobs or anything in, 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 in the government, anything down there, uh, inbox us uh, some job openings, if you, if you will, and uh, we'll, you know, we'll shoot him by my brother and see if he's interested in anything, because he's, he's kind of down on his luck right now. I got laid off, you know, child support kicking his ass, uh, everything, life is kicking his ass, and so he's, uh, he's having a tough time down there, and so we're just trying to help him out, and there's not much we can do from here, but if anybody's down there or know of any job openings that he would actually that he could you know might be interested in or might you know start a new career in just uh please inbox us let us know your thoughts um, any positions or anything that may be open he'll definitely appreciate it we'll definitely appreciate it you can inbox but, us yeah. here yeah inbox us here on this on this channel just direct messages yeah direct messages like she said right here on this channel not the other one but this one that way i can check it and see yeah. What's up? But yeah, what she said, and uh, we'll you know we'll we'll shoot him to him, and uh, you know kind of just see if we can help him move along and get out of this little rut he's in, and get him back on his feet. So that's what we're trying to do, just trying to help big brother out, and uh, you know just trying to you know uh, lift him, lift his spirits, and get him you know going again. So if you please know know of anything, uh, hit us up in boxes at this channel. And uh, Dallas, we, we, Arlington, those are the two. Like Dallas, those. Arlington, we we'll definitely appreciate it. Let us know. And uh, yeah, appreciate it, y'all. <laughs> Don't even try to look all funny because it's delicious. This ain't lemon cake. It's lighter than that motherfucking lemon cake. I'm just saying. On that note, I gotta go. <laughs> Delicious. It's about making better choices. We're making better choices. The thing I'm having a hard time with is the fact that I've been craving everything under the sun. Like random shit. shit. Like when I feel like something crunchy, I'm like, ah. So the rice cakes actually have helped that. So, yeah. Anyway, y'all. I work out with Jessica tomorrow, so I will see y'all manana and see what Jessica has in store for my workout. Although today I didn't get a chance to work out like I wanted to because the time I was going to work out, Maria actually ended up coming to get me, which is great. It's fine. I had a great time with her today. But yeah, man, we will see y'all manana. We love y'all. And uh, just like you said, send us inbox um, messages if you know of anything in Dallas, Arlington. He does have a degree. And uh, oh, yeah, what was it? He has a degree in political science. Right. And what's his back? Damn, nigga, really? Southern is it delicious? University in Baton Rouge. Jaguars. Okay. <laughs> anyway. But yeah. he is looking for a job in sales. You want sales? A commission? Yeah, he wants something to. You want sales? He wants something to make some something because he said, just up is kicking his ass. Just up is just up is child support. That's He calls it just up. Anybody in Dallas would probably know that or whatever. But. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he is having a hard time. We're being supportive as much as much. We're giving as much support as we can from where we are here in St. Louis, but we're not in Dallas and we don't know Dallas very well. So, yeah. you know, we tell him where he can look online and those types of things. But but if, anyway, we just thought since some of you guys are out in the Dallas area, if you happen to know any job opportunities that are available, he does have a degree. He's got an un, you know his undergrad degree or whatever poli sci, as he said, um, and then he's got a sales background probably for him because he's got. Child support, something that's salaried. That's why I said something about, he wants sales because for him, he needs something that has like a good base. He's just had a really tough time these last few years and you know, we're all trying to give him support. So. Yeah. We're not asking for a miracle, we're just asking for some. If you know of anything. I mean, we're yeah. just taking a shot if you know, If you don't think you don't like the, 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 the position, just shoot it to us anyway. We'll figure it out. But if you have anything out there, hit us up. We we'll definitely appreciate it. I'm gonna go sip on, I'm gonna go eat on some more rice cakes and lay my ass down. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Love y'all. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>